Groups allow users to be grouped together by role or content access needs, allowing for more streamlined user management during deployment and in the long-term day-to-day management of Box. Groups can be collaborated on folders and files either right from their creation or at the specific folder or file level. Let's walk through creating a new group in the Admin Console. From the Users and Groups section of the Admin Console, click into the Groups tab. Your organization's existing groups are shown here. Click the Create button to start the process of adding a new group. Name your group, and if necessary, add a description. You can choose to lock this group down and allow only admins or group members to collaborate this group on files and folders or view and assign members tasks. For this example, I'm going to keep it set to Company and allow anyone within my organization on Box to do these things. If I change my mind, I can always come back and adjust my group settings. Next, I'll add group members. Click the Add Members button and type in the user's name or email. After adding members, I can change anyone's permission with the dropdown. Terence is going to be a group admin, which will give him a limited view of the admin console. As a group admin, Terence can edit the permission settings of the group, add members, and share new folders or change permission levels on existing folders the group is collaborated on. Terence cannot delete groups without additional administrative permissions. After adding group members, select the folders you want them to be added to as collaborators. The default permission level is Editor, but you can change it with the drop-down. Click the Done button to finish creating the group. After successfully creating a group, you will see this green success banner and land on the Group Details page. Here you can edit details, add or remove members, and share new folders or change permission levels. After returning to the Groups tab, you can click on the group name in the list to return to the Details page. Continue watching the Admin Basics video series by clicking the button below, or learn more about creating groups by clicking the support article.